Hello friends, welcome to part 2 of uh, Classical Dynamics 5th semester 2023 Dibrugur University okay. and uh, we have already solved from question number 1 to question number 3b okay. so we are going to solve the remaining questions now and this is my insta id Oza Lukasit 123 if you want to follow me on insta you can follow me so before we start please subscribe the channel hit the thumbs up button also share with your friends inspire me to create new contents for you right so now let's start so here you see this is question number 3b or okay there was two, uh, there were two questions in 3b so first one is done in the first part so here derive the hamiltonian for charge particle in a electromagnetic field so here is the answer you can see here charge particle moving in an electromagnetic field and its lagrangian is given by this t minus q phi and uh, q v dot a v dot a so when you see bold letter use vector here okay when you write on copy okay uh, that's it now you see uh, here so what do you mean by phi and a so you have already studied in uh, you know electromagnetism right that uh, electric field e can be you know uh, express as a you know a grade phi minus grade phi and del a by del t and magnetic field can be represent as can be represented as curl of a vector so here uh, phi is equal to electromagnetic scalar potential electromagnetic let me write here electromagnetic scalar potential and uh, vector a is electromagnetic vector potential so hope you know these things right now now instead of uh, writing in vector form if we consider a particular component k so k means it may be x y z okay so uh, velocity if the velocity is vk then uh, we can write kinetic energy is half m vk square so uh, you know summing up all uh, components so similarly here you see this part this part is written first okay so which is q summation uh, sum over k v k and a k and this q phi is written here okay so don't be confused so now you see we know that uh, momentum canonical momentum is given by p k which is equal to del l by del q k dot so del q k dot is nothing but your v k here okay that is velocity time derivative of this one so now uh, so that's why del q k is written by uh, is replaced by v k here and uh, if you differentiate this with respect to v k then you're gonna get this answer because uh, these are the two functions of v k okay if you differentiate this these two comes here and two two cancels right so that's why you get vk here and on the other side if you differentiate this vk then it gives one so this is the expression we have got and hamiltonian is equal to you know the definition of hamiltonian from the definition of hamiltonian sum over k pk qk dot minus l so here so we have put this pk here from equation number three you can uh, uh, give the equation number as you want uh, you can start from uh, this equation equation number one okay then you have to change wherever it is three okay right hope you go, uh, hope you are getting my point and uh, then uh, and one more thing this is pk pk is placed here and qk instead of qk dot we have put vk then we have multiplied then we have got this expression right so hope you have understood this okay then minus l now this l is put here 
then we have simplified after simplification we have got this down right so uh, so here what we have done this part we have written in vector form here okay v dot a right so now here if you subtract these two then again you get half mv square and here it is q5 and these two cancels right so uh, from equation number three from this equation that means this one this one right from this one uh, if you if you find vk if you simplify this then you're gonna get this right and hence h can be expressed hamiltonian can be expressed now instead of vk you can uh, replace vk by this term okay so if you use uh, if you write this using summation again okay so instead of this v square we have written pk minus qk whole square and uh, m is taken common outside this m is taken common right so hope you have understood this right so let's go to the next piece so this is what we have got uh, if you write in vector form then uh, we don't need this summation so now we have got this one so as the hamiltonian equations are vk is del h by del pk which is equal to this one we have already uh, got this right uh, from here you can see this is uh, from here we get v is equal to this is uh, you know 1 by m can be taken pk minus q a k right this is vk if you write in back of you 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 get this uh, sorry you get this form right uh, sorry uh, in vector form you can write this okay and uh, p dot k is equal to this so these are the hamiltonian equations of motion right so hope you have understood this now let's move on to the next question so define generalized momentum so hope you know the definition of generalized momentum right and establish the you know principle of conservation of angular momentum using generalized notation right so i'm going to give you the answer directly of this part establish the principle of conservation of angular momentum right so this is the answer to the 3c so take the screenshot okay take the screenshot and uh, this is the first piece and this is the second piece take the screenshot or just pause the video and note it down okay so this is the third piece right so this is it okay so let me show you again from the first piece this is 3c answer first piece second piece third piece right now let's move on to next question so i have already showed this question uh, this uh, 3c or so i have provided the link uh, 3c or in the description box so you can click the link and you can watch that video so this uh, in the next part i'm going to show 4a 4b and this one okay so, so thank you for watching see you in the next video right